Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made a cute little needle felted duckling. Right now, as you can see, I'm busy working on the wireframe. My inspiration for this project is this adorable duckling from Douglas Toys. I really love this little vintage duck. He usually sits on my desk as I work, but I thought it would be fun to make one in my style. This little baby duck I'm making most closely resembles a mallard duckling, although I did take some creative liberties. And this project was kind of challenging for me to make. I wanted the duck bill to have the ability to open and close, and I also wanted to be able to move the wings. So there were some different adjustments that I had to make. Most of the trouble I had involved the feet and the bill. You'll see in the video, I tried several different ways of making the duck bill. At first the bill was too small, so I removed that and I made another one. Then I painted over the wool with an acrylic paint because I thought that would eventually smooth out with enough layers, but it still ended up looking too lumpy, so I removed that as well. Basically, I made several different duck bills until it turned out right. And I had the same problem with the feet, so those were added and removed several times as well. But that leads me to talk about one of my favorite things about working with needle felted wool. You can cut right into it, make adjustments, and rebuild your project with relative ease. You can do this repeatedly again and again until it turns out right. I don't know any other medium that allows you to make so many different changes and look like you didn't change anything at all, like you perfectly planned it, except for needle felting. I mean, I guess you could kind of do that with clay, but not really. Clay is not as forgiving as needle felting is. I don't know, it's just another animal. And that's why I love working with needle felting. Another thing I want to talk about is realistic looking sculptures. I know a lot of needle felted artists like to make animals that look completely realistic and they are breathtaking, they are stunning, they are amazing, but my style is different. I like to make sculptures that look like a vintage stuffed animal or like the character just stepped out of a vintage greeting card. I just really like this fun and cutesy look, and so that's why I don't personally aim to make realistic looking characters. I just like to do what makes me happy, and this style really makes me happy.
Once the duckling was built, I added the brown wool on top and I went in with some pastels to finish it up. And here it is, our cute little duckling. I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. It's going in my curio cabinet with all my other soft sculptures. I just adore his cute, whimsical look. And I can open and close the duck bill like I wanted. And his feet move. And he's fully poseable because he's got the wire armature inside. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Let me know what you guys think and leave a comment down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.